January 25, 2012. Millions of Egyptians across the country celebrated the start of a revolution that ended the 30-year dictatorship of President Hosni Mubarak. In Cairo, hundreds of thousands of people of all ages, professions, and nationalities marched to Tahrir Square from around the city. One of those who marched was UAE-based political commentator Sultan Al Qasimi, who is known for tweeting the Arab uprisings to an international audience. So, how do your legs feel this morning? Sore. <laughs> Can you describe what it was like to be among the Egyptian people a year after the revolution, which you tweeted all last year? It's an honor to be here. The uh, it's very surreal. I tweeted. Uh, that being in Cairo and meeting all the activists is like meeting uh, my favorite, meeting characters from my favorite novel. So it feels like I've been reading about these individuals, and you know, and learning about them, and and, and, and living living with them really day to day, and then finally meeting them, and it felt very surreal. In in the in the, in the march yesterday, we be, at the beginning of the march there was Mahmoud Salem, Sand Monkey, who was a personal friend of mine. You know, during the march, we were we were we we met, we saw Wa'al Ghanim, and then you know you see uh, Salma Saeed, you see activists that are, uh, you know that 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 have influenced me and influenced even people beyond their own knowledge. They don't know how many people they've touched in in their lives and how many people they've inspired, and I've had the pleasure of meeting Egyptian activists all over the world. But there's something about meeting them in Cairo that is even more special. Uh, what do you see in Egypt's future for 2012? Um, I think that uh, the signs are all positive. The trajectory is very positive. It looks like Egypt is on the right track, but it also definitely feels uh, as if that, um, as if it, it is hanging by a thread and things can go wrong at any minute. And you do, you do get a sense that the sacrifices of the revolutionaries have an effect on the ground. Um, and one example was, you know, uh, unfortunately there were, there were a lot of people who died in, in, uh, in, the, in the November uprising, to the November 2011, and, um, or the November clashes, some people call them, in downtown. And because of those clashes, you had the, uh, the presidential elections brought forward by almost an entire year. Do you think the anniversary marches will have any effect politically? I think yesterday proved that you know Egyptians can uh, commemorate the anniversary in a uh, in a peaceful, civil manner. I think that's the biggest uh, message that was sent yesterday. What is it? Several hundred thousand people coming together in a, in, a, in one place. In any other Arab country, this would be considered a nightmare, but in Egypt, it's, it felt more like a festival. Why are you so passionate about Egypt? I love Egypt. I adore this country. But it's not about Egypt. It's about uh, it's about a struggle of a people that I have an affinity with, and I speak their language, and I identify with them, and they want they want a better future. And I think we all want a better future. And for me, Egypt is um, I don't know. It's the pillar state in the Arab world. This is the country that holds you know the roof. Uh, you know, up for all of us. This is the country that that influences us more than any other country, uh, uh, religiously, uh, culturally, um, uh, educa in education-wise, uh, politically. So uh, we want Egypt to be a better country. We want it to be a stronger country, because if Egypt becomes, you know, if Egypt transforms into a better place. We also get uh, that this 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 effect really spreads throughout the Arab world. It's um, if one of the other Arab countries changes with with a population of a few million or a few hundred thousand, it doesn't really have that kind of influence that Egypt, with its weight of 80 million, does. Uh, plus, I felt I mean I I I also was active in the Tunisian uh, uh, uprising uh, or the revolution as well as other revolutions. It's not just about Egypt, but, but Egypt definitely is the, the core of the Arab world.